Michael Galambos, uh, came from Hungary. My name is Mohamed Reshab, I'm from Germany. I'm Salia, I'm coming from Greece. My name is Henry. I come from Estonia. Um, why are we here at the summer school and why did we organize this? It's uh, actually an opportunity to create a safe space where we can gather a diverse group of teachers and trainers from all over the world from different backgrounds and bring them together into one room to teach and learn about key concepts. The most important part was the uh, connection between the experiments and games and the um, uh, scientific data. Uh... Um, I really find it important that we were uh, filled up with the very latest scientific uh, uh, research and uh, outcomes. Um, I really appreciated the, the high-level scientific approach, so thank you very much for uh, inviting those scientists and uh, PhD. I was invited to present a serious game on extreme events. So what I developed was this game that my colleagues did, but with a different twist. So I added the concept of intersectionality, diversity and inclusion, and well, how we can actually engage with different stakeholders when we are talking about, well, uh, extreme events, disasters, uh, and so on and so forth. These are not all my ideas, this is not my brain. I'll just put that out there. Collective. ESM 2025, donc déjà c'est l'acronyme de Earth System Model. C'est un projet financé par le programme cadre de l'Union Européenne qui regroupe 22 partenaires issus de toute l'Europe. Et l'objectif principal, c'est de faire travailler conjointement ces différents laboratoires de recherche pour développer une nouvelle génération de modèles du système Terre qui soient capables de répondre aux stratégies d'atténuation et d'adaptation mentionnées dans l'accord de Paris. Le dernier volet sur lequel on travaille est conjointement avec un des partenaires du projet qui est l'OCE, c'est l'éducation au climat. Euh, et c'est ce pourquoi nous sommes là cette semaine également et, euh, et ce pourquoi l'OCE nous aide et produit de nombreuses ressources pédagogiques. Throughout this week, it's been in a very intense program. Uh, so we started out with uh, basic concepts of uh, the greenhouse effect and albedo effect and these sorts of um, concepts. And then we moved into talking about uh, eco-anxiety, different emotions that can be uh, felt by students. And I really like the uh, future scenario activities uh, when we had uh, different approaches, uh, you know, a pessimistic and an optimistic one. And uh, in this small group work, we had a look at uh, the possible scenarios for small villages and big cities. Um, that I definitely will try with my students. We can imagine one of the most important activities will be um, uh, to teach uh, or to implement uh, some of the activities in this book uh, in a cooperation project between our school and a school in uh, Kenya. The new activities for climate modeling uh, as well as those for envisioning the future. Okay, and if you had one word to define the CESU, which one would it be? Inspiring. I will cheat and say two words. Intellectual biodiversity. Very challenging question. Uh, I will use two words, number one, informative, number two, empowering. Oh, very intense and very thorough. Um, I thank very much the Office for Climate Education and Meteo France and of course the ESM 2025 for bringing uh, all of us uh, here. Thank you for the organization, thank you for uh, like, like to get the chance to be here.